Alright guys, they're playing some Trundle top lane in the new patch versus a Pantheon. And what we're running this game is Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Scent, Biscuits, and Cosmic. This game, as always, I want to showcase you guys how I can carry on Trundle. In my opinion, Trundle top lane is perfect. Seriously, it's perfect. I don't know if you guys remember the last year of me like spamming so much Trundle for videos. Like he used to be like like so strong and he still is to this day i want to showcase you guys you kind of want to see trundle similar to uh to an olaf or darius it's like the same type of concept like you fight level one two three as you progress with the game you get very strong too like in the late game you are absolutely unstoppable if you get ahead you cannot be killed anymore in the late game say pantheon i want to try and engage in him straight with level one but he's like playing uh super safe uh, can't get more in smart pantheon player the guy's using his brain here does not find me level one it's quite rare most people try and fight level one to me hmm he dropped it on me though i think we can probably go for a dive maybe Nah, 200 HP. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do, it's very tempting to stay in this lane right now, but that would be a very bad idea as well. Allow me to explain why. So, um, you'll like, if you play very one lane, you're going to get, you're, you're bound to get into the situation quite a bit where your opponent's like 300 HP and you want to try and dive them, but you can't, right? Um, in moments like this, you absolutely do not want to be greedy because if you're if you're going to stay around, the chances of Kindred walking uh, pathing topside and ganking from this position here is very very likely. And if you buy items like I'm doing now after resetting immediately, you come back with a new fresh item. The lane is still looking good for you. It's it's bouncing in directly into you. So this guy has no items yet. Um, this is a much more safe way to play it. You'll see it for now. Like, we're stronger than him, way stronger now. So the item advantage. That's really interesting. And I win. There you go. Now we walk away. We flash across, so that Kinshin is not going to get me here. Now the only problem which remains is that we just got ganked. And we cannot reset because the wave is too massive. So this is not too fun here. <laughs> That's gank right there. <laughs> I love how he was playing it greedy. Like I was respecting this guy so much and he went for it. <laughs> I just kicked him under tower with my pillar. <laughs> All right, one problem remains because the wave is still like the lane is still looking uh, very bad for me. So we're going to have to find out a way to reset. I don't know how we're going to do it yet because we're like 400 HP. But one thing, uh, one thing is good for me here. I actually will get level six before the Pantheon does. So perhaps we can try using it. I tried like knocking him into the tower, but unfortunately that failed. So... It is what it is. Alright. Not really liking the position because if I decide to go for a reset right now, I will lose like a full wave. However, if I stay, I will keep on losing. And the only true way to fix this is by either getting that level 6 now and then going in or getting a, getting a gank. So I'll try something out here. Can't go for this. Hmm. Nope, I tried it. This is something I had to try. Like, there's two solutions right there. Again, if I would go back, I would lose the wave. I will come back strong, but I would lose the full wave anyway. It would be really good if my jungler paid attention to my situation, to my perma camp, basically. And then reacting on that, that would be really good. If I had an active jungler right here, seeing the situation and how it's running, it could have been solved without any risk. Yeah, it's kind of sucks. You can't always expect your jungler to know everything. 
This Jonah didn't know. It's all good. He was pathing bottom, which is really bad. Like, really bad, especially if I'm winning this heart. But it's fine. We'll uh, recover the problem here. I've got Berserker's Greaves, as you noticed. I'm doing this because it gives me a lot of movement speed and it allows me to catch up on the Pantheon. So it's normally something that I don't typically do as often. I normally run Blade to Throne King as soon as possible. But in matchups like this where he gets stunned and he can walk backwards, if you run Berserker's Greaves, you gain like a lot of attack speed. But you can also stay up to your opponent much easier. Let's see, he's got Steel Caps. All right, I'm gonna pillar this guy into the right moment. All right, now we can go in. I'll start with Q, let's get the slow in. Uh, not enough. I don't like playing as Pantheon personally. The Pantheon can play very safe with his abilities, especially with his block. He can block all the damage of all sorts in one specific direction. See? He can block everything, even my ultimate. He can he can block anything you can think of, even a Cartus ultimate. He can block that too. If he knows the direction of the Cartus ultimate, he can block it. I'm pretty serious. Like that champ is uh kind of nasty to play against personally. Alright, we're gonna go for some lifesteal. So we're gonna be struggling a little bit, unfortunately. We don't have that massive lead we once had because of the Kindred and like leaving us in this bad position. But like eventually this matchup is going to turn into a very easy one. I'd say like roughly around like first item if we can either get like one or two kills from the jungle or we get like recurve bow and pickaxe we should start like hard winning at that point. So it's like a it's like a matter of time. That's all it is. All right, cool. So again, we just respect him for what it is. I hope that Shaco's gonna gank my lane here, because we can't probably get kills. Nice, we kind of hold it. We have the Contra Ward in the river. I need to thin this out to get my level eight. Nice. If I don't get double 8 right here, I'm going to start having a bad lane. And problem solved. Again, we don't get to all... This guy is playing ultra mega save. Well, we're about to kill him for once. There you go. I really don't like Pantheon players because of how safe the champ can play and like how it counters most champions. I absolutely do not like it, but... Oh, the spawn. I hope I can get the play before it hits. Yeah, there you go. Nice. I refuse to touch this wave. This is a very important decision we're going to have to make. If we stay around to try and get this wave, uh, Pantheon will hit ultimate and then come back to lane. And I will get into the same position again I was in earlier where I cannot reset due to um, um, him like being able to hard push constantly. And like me losing the wave. So... Uh, one way to fix that is by going back earlier than usual. So if you if, if we go back now, as you can see, we're actually buying items. Again, the wave will bounce back into me again, which means I have my items. We now have an item advantage against the Pantheon. So now we're stronger than him. But if he decides to like stay around and try and get the wave and try and grieve for the wave, it wouldn't be worth it. Like We'd actually be in a bad position if we did that stuff. But yeah, now it's looking very good. The only problem now remains... Like, the XP difference. He's level 9, I'm level 8. Which is very, very bad for my lane. So, until... I'm not level 9, we would just play it safe. There you go. We're about to hit level 9 here. Good. Now we can actually start playing aggressively again, because we're both level 9. If you're level 8 versus level 9, you're not going to fight in matchups like this. You're just going to end up losing it. 
I'll drag it. I want this painting to stay around. There you go. I'm uh, forcing it this direction. And now we just kind of hold it. Okay. This matchup, or I mean this game, is going to get very fun once we uh, progress a little bit. That's gonna push. I saw the Pantheon in the jungle. So I'm gonna take my chances here. Apparently he doesn't come from the river, so I'm just gonna shove this out. The only intention I have now is to reset the wave to get my item advantage. I'll explain why. Look. There you go. This is a very important part in the game. Because I can make the decision right now to stay around once again. But if I go and reset now and I get my recurve bell. I'm going to come back like an absolute raid boss. I'll sell that one too. I'll get the longsword. If Pantheon stays now. That would be even better but... Yeah, as it turns out, he's going to reset too. Okay. I wonder if he will be able to buy his item. Oh, he apparently he doesn't reset. Okay. He apparently goes to the rotation. Okay. You know, my teammates are losing very hard. Uh, especially the Jin is like walking around the map with like nine kills already. Um... But I'm not worried about this game. There you go. We're about to get the final plating. So I'd say this is worth it for sure. The Pantheon rotation was not good for him. Because he's about to lose the objective here. Now we just chase. Of course he's going to run for his life again. That's Pantheon right there. And unfortunately, we happen to die along with it because it's Pantheon, right? He blocks every single source of damage and runs off. That's what Pantheon players do all day. Like, if they lose lane, this is what happens. They just run towards their direction. You can't change it anymore. The ability can be cast for a long time. I'm glad I got the kill, though, but still, I lost an entire wave, so I'm not too happy with it. Um... We could go for Sheen, get empowered Q damage. We can also go for Harpo next get movement. I'm just going to go for Sheen. That's better. There you go. I'd rather have more damage now. Because that would help with the 1v1. If I go for Harpo next, I will get movement speed, but... The Sheen damage is way better. King of Trolls coming let's, uh, let's pick up this one. Just one camp only. Hmm. There you go. He can take that stuff. I'm going to be going top real fast. I need to prevent the Pantheon from like hard pushing this under. I'll stay around the corner because I think I can kill him. Okay. He uses the ability once again. I have my ultimate like in like 14. Hmm. I really don't like playing as Pantheon that much. But yeah, he's starting to fall off right now. And he's using the ability once again. Alright, cool. And I beat him. There you go. Now we hard shove. I'm actually kind of happy this game with uh, the support pick here. Because they uh, we got a Yumi in this game. It's been a while. Again. I don't see that many Yumi players nowadays anymore. But I, do, I still do like the champion. It's kind of bad for the lane. Like Yumi in the lane is certainly not a, a good champ at the moment. But I do like what happens afterwards. No surrender, please. We'll play this out. Believe in my pick. And me. <laughs> hmm. Well. Yeah, that 
that's sort of unlucky. Let's go for Chinny Force. This is actually kind of huge, because um, sure, like, unfortunately, that team fight was terrible, because we happened to get outnumbered completely, and the Kindred, in fact, even got away, which is kind of <laughs> upsetting. But I did actually gain, like, two kills out of that one, immediately being able to buy the Trinity Force. Look, I've got, like, an instant purchase out of that one. I'd say, like, that's worth, especially because they were, they had, like, a lot of bounties. Like, that team fight is far more worth it for us. Uh, let's go again. I'm gonna pick up a country reward. Always useful. We should be able to chase down Pantheon now because the Trinity Force has the movement speed effect. So if we get like one trade going or like one all in going, we can chase like far easier. As it turns out, the Jane is like fighting off my Shaco. This guy's got like 11 kills, so. Got him. Jin is up here apparently. And there's other people here. I refuse to fight off the Jin no matter like how easy it looks. Good. We're not wasting any time. We're taking these ones. And then back top lane. I think my next item is going to be Hydra for sure. Because then we get AoE damage. Plus we can stack it up to 40. Get the maximum damage out of it. Next one. This is like the point in the game where Trundle is going to take over the entire map if you do it well. Nice. Probably some people will rotate. It depends here. Well, I'm just going to go for tower. I see like multiple people on the map. This one's super free. Nah, I can't do it. Uh, the reason why I didn't do it is because Jin has Gale Force. And Gale Force is a direct counter to me. Oh, the Yumi's shown exactly where I was. That's really bad. I was about to trap him. Yeah, that's bad. Maybe there's a camp here? Yeah, there's a camp here. Uh, Drake needs to be ignored. Like, my teammates shouldn't be fighting for Drake right now because we lose that one. Pick this one up. Perfect. Unfortunately, my AD carry is overextending far too much, getting caught once again. But I'm glad that my teammates are ignoring the Drake because it's impossible to get for sure. Could probably catch off the, the Fager, maybe. Told you. Uh, jumping on the Fega around the corner. That was pretty good. There's a lot of people who fall for it. Let's pick up next wave again. We're getting quite fed right now. Considering like these guys are all this massive. Like, like this game is looking excellent. That's going to push in. I might consider going for a tower here. That would be very good. We can rush it. I don't need to go for an hit. Nice. We do not want to get the inhib. There's absolutely no need to get it. Because if you get the inhib for them, they can basically farm easier because it's uh, killing off the enemy wave. Alright, we're good to go. And let's go back. So, uh, we can buy Hydra now. I need like 70. Yeah, 
Yeah, now I got it. That's a huge power spike right here. And now we're going to go bottom. So you can see we're not playing around my teammates. Not at all. My teammates are mega far behind. Like my Shaco is 9 deaths. My ADC is 8 deaths. They got no items, nothing. They're completely useless. So we're playing around it. I refuse to go team fights for that reason. Because we will 100% lose it. Um, I hope that Kaisa is going to wake up and start and stop like following me. Because that's terrible. Good to see the Kaisa like changing the mind. Cool. That's uh, 1000 gold right there. And let's pick this one up. Wow, this is going to be an absolute super, super 1v9. Like, we're killing off the Jin, Like, like nothing. That guy was like 12 kills, by the way. I, I just like... <laughs> I just wreck him like it's nothing. Like some regular ADC. Let's get this one too. I think I might be able to get more, maybe. Ah, we, uh, I avoid it. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, man. Good luck, have fun. You're not going to be enjoying this game. I'm taking over. I purposely keep the inhib standing to make the game as winnable as possible. So keep that in mind. Pantheon blocked all my damage again. I hate that ability so much. Because you can't sustain from it. Like, you can't lifesteal from the Pantheon uh, ability. That, that ability is absolutely broken, in my opinion. Like, the entire game I've been struggling with it. Because it just... You can't activate it for so long. Right? Now, one thing that I was thinking about doing is going Hallbreaker. Because we're split pushing anyway for the entire game. But since we got a Yumi this game, this is something that I... Don't want to build. Um, instead, we're going to go for Death Stance. Because that's going to make us last far longer than normally. Um, and for the final item, I'm thinking mostly about Spirit Visage. But we can also decide to go for... Um, sounds a bit weird, but Phantom Dancer? I'm thinking about it. I'm going to build it for now. Uh, I'll, I'll build it for now, but I'll probably change my mind. Probably. <clears throat> we'll see. Drake spawns in 15. We gotta fight for this Drake. This is the turning point in the in the game. Something we gotta try and fight for. Alright, cool. Oh, really? I got caught by that stuff? Oh. Oh. Ah. Wow. I got hit by the end of the box from the from the figure. How disappointing is that, man? He came around the corner and just dropped the box down. Hmm. We've got the NASA scaling, fortunately, but... Nessus is struggling too. The the AD carry and and jungler are so far behind that even Nessus can't like fix the game for himself. That's crazy to me. But that's wild, man. 
I'm thinking towards going Spare Visage more, actually, after seeing this. Um, uh, we'll, we'll keep this for now. Unfortunately, Drake is lost, like, despite being this, this strong, we just can't one, one versus five an entire fight. That's just too much. So yeah, we're just gonna go back to the same concept. We can't, we can't team fight. It's there's no way, impossible. We'll just have to rely on doing this instead. Kaisa unfortunately died once again. I think they're gonna be pathing bottom. There you go. Three people. This is actually really good. This is really good, actually. They're, they're about to fight. We're going, we're going to finish the game right here. Yeah, I got him. This is really good. Oh man, imagine if my teammates cancelled backports. It would be done right now. It would be GG. That sucks. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just going to keep my item. I want to go for Phantom Dancer. It's probably the best way to play it out. Um, hmm. Let me think here real quick. I think a combination of Phantom Dancer and Trinity Forest would be great. Hmm. I think I'm going to do it. I'm just going to build it. More attack speed slash AD. I mean, plus a good chance, why not? I am i don't want to go tank mode because we're like destroying the, the side lanes. We're just going to do the same thing. Yeah, let's go. Let's run. I hope my teammates don't die here. I hope not. If, they, if my teammates don't die, I can make a play. Make it work. Ah, oh, I'm about to get caught again. Uh, <laughs> I can't play team fights out. It's so sad, actually. Absolutely impossible. These guys are way enor way too enormous. Yeah. This one time, I'm thinking like, hmm, maybe we can one versus five the team fight. Then we get caged by the Fagar. These guys are all full build, <laughs> almost. I, oh, I should have never made that one. I should have just went mid lane again, just do the same thing. Yeah, it's probably over. Oh man, I absolutely don't like Shaco players. I say this so many times, but like AP Shaco is like a cannon in my opinion. Yeah, this game is over. I don't think I can change it. I can try though. Yeah, <laughs> I'm on myself. Like, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, so, some games you just can't win. It's like one of those. You got really far while my whole teammates are ultra losing, but like, it's not winnable. But yeah, this is Channel Top. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube vid, and I'll see you next time. Peace.